Thanks, Todd. Um, this is actually a very quick talk about the BGP update report. Why is there a BGP update report? Not everyone is noisy in BGP. Not everyone generates huge numbers of BGP updates. In fact, very few of you are very naughty. But those very few of you are extremely naughty. So in the grand tradition of the CIDA report, the only thing I can really do is name and shame. Who are these folk and why are they doing this? Down the bottom there, you actually see a cumulative distribution of ASs versus percentage of updates. 10% of the Origin ASs, just 200 of you, generate 40% of all the BGP updates I saw in the last two weeks. So a very small number of you are evil. So in order to actually name it, and for all of us, the rest of you to know who they are, every week I send out a BGP update report to the Nanog mailing list. It's based on a single eBGP peering session over in the Asia Pacific. So if you look yourself, you might find subtly different numbers, but BGP is a global thing. When I see noise, you probably see it too. It's a rolling two-week report, so I take the last 14 days and analyse it, and I post it to the Nanog list Friday, every Friday, at 1200 UTC. It's also online. You'll see later where it is. So the header of the mailer is that that tells you what the period is I analysed. The report is in three parts. The first part are the most unstable ASs I saw in the last two weeks named and their relative volumes. So on Friday the 6th of October, over the last two weeks, the PTT in Indonesia grabbed the top spot. It was responsible for 34,000 updates, or 3.2 per cent of the total update load that I saw. Amazing. That was 91 updates per prefix. Someone in the Caucasus was also having fun, number two, and again someone in Indonesia, they must be making sport of this, was number three. If you see yourself named there, you should wonder why the hell I'm seeing you generate so much noise. CA net, AS702. Thank you. Um, the relative per prefix instability. Of course, when you do an update, you update all of your prefixes, but some people only have a very small number of prefixes but still do an amazing number of updates. These are points for outstanding effort. And last week's <laughs> prize goes to Multitrade, the AS bank outsourcer. Would you put your money with these folks since they can't even keep their announcements stable? Um, so this is divided by the number of prefixes being announced. And again, you see the top 50. I've just reproduced the top 12 here. If you're on this, why? And of course, I'm also interested in prefixes. So the third part of the report you see in that mailer is indeed the top prefixes. And this week's or last week's prize went to India where one single prefix generated 3,185 updates. I've certainly seen many presentations that say, well, even though there are a lot of updates, packets still get through. I challenge you with 203, 199, 128, slash 19 to get packets through consistently. And again, if you see your net there, DDN AS block DOD Network Information Center 43.181, then you should worry about why the hell your network is phenomenally unstable. There's a web page to do this. This web page is updated every single day. So if you want to see your progress in terms of trying to be number one on the updates, go there and have a look. Uh, there are a number of graphs. This is the peak per second update load that my router got on a logarithmic scale. Updates are very, very noisy. They're about a single order of magnitude in peak rates between 100 and 1,000 updates per second. So that's the peak per second rate. There are a few other things on the, on the page. Um, if you really want to understand who's doing what stupid things, you can drill down. That page is full of URLs. This is a per AS report of, ooh, Telecom Indonesia. Down the bottom, the green thing, is the number of stable prefixes that were being announced. And uh, last weekend, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, was a very bad day for them. They happened to lose up to 25 per cent of their prefixes. The red lines going down are withdrawal events. The green lines, sorry, the blue lines going up are where they do attribute changes. And the green lines are announcements following a withdrawal. These guys were working very, very hard to make your routers busy. If you also want to look at per prefixes, you can do the same thing. This particular prefix coming from VNSN, VSNL in India, the gaps in the bottom are where I couldn't see the prefix. The withdrawal and announce rate is, as you see, mildly busy, so that you see reds for withdrawals and greens for corresponding announcements following withdrawal. These guys are working extremely hard. Um, please be kind to my server, but if you want to have a look at yourself, there are some fake URLs that you might find extraordinarily easy. 
AS, type your favourite AS number, .potteroo.net will generate a report for you about that AS, which is a very easy way to do the URL. And if you really want to have an interesting time, you can start looking at some prefixes. Nick, Nick Feimster's talk this morning reminded me of a lightning talk he gave at the last Nanog or two about ago about people hijacking prefixes for spam. One of the ones they hijacked was quite interesting. It was a super block, 61 slash 8. If you actually enumerate that, 61.0.0.0, and instead of using the slash, which HTTP regards as special, put a dot instead, you can actually get a report of the prefix. Please be gentle. It takes a huge amount of compute time. Thank you very much.